Hello Grade 3s, it's Miss Mzizi here. I hope that you are all doing well and taking good care of yourselves. In today's lesson, we will be learning about multiplication word problems. Now with multiplication, there are other words that we can use to refer to multiplication and these words are multiply times product and buy now there are many other words that we can use but these are the most common words now before you can do any type of multiplication we need to know our times table now, let us try the following times tables. Say the answers as fast as you can. All right, three times six equals 18. Two times four equals eight. Five times three equals 15. Now, let's try a few more. All right, 7 times 3 equals 21, 6 times 2 equals 12, and 4 times 5 equals 20. Well done if you got all of those correct. Remember to keep practicing. Now we're going to move on on how to tackle a multiplication sum. But first, let's look at the following multiplication equation. A multiplication equation is made up of different parts. Let's look at the different parts. The 4 is known as the multiplier. Now the multiplier won't always be a 4. It will change according to the sum. Then we have our unit we have our tens and our hundreds now let's look at the steps that we need to follow to tackle a multiplication sum step one times your multiplier by the unit step two times your multiplier by the ten and step three times your multiplier by the hundred. Let us try to work through the following multiplication equation using the steps. Here we have our multiplication equation, which is 112 times 4. Looking at our equation, the 4 is our multiplier, the 2 is our unit, the 1 is our 10 and the other one is our 100. Step 1. We need to times our multiplier which is 4 by our unit which is 2. So 2 times 4 equals 8. Step 2. We have to times our multiplier 4 by our 10 1. Therefore 1 times 4 equals 4. Our last step, we need to times our multiplier 4 by our 100, 1. Therefore, 1 times 4 equals 4. Therefore, our final answer is 448. Now, let's work through the following multiplication word problems. There are 12 cookies in a packet. Tando buys four packets for her party. How many biscuits does she have? Our equation will then be 
12 times 4. Step 1. We need to times our multiplier 4 by our unit 2. Therefore, we will say 2 times 4, which equals 8. Step 2. We need to times our multiplier 4 by our 10, 1. Therefore, we will say 1 times 4, which equals 4. There is no step 3 because there is no 100 to times our multiplier by. So, how many biscuits does she have? Tando has 48 biscuits. There are 132 fireworks in a box. Tammy has four boxes. How many fireworks does she have all together? Our equation is then 132 times 4. Step 1. We must times our multiplier, which is 4, by our unit, which is 2. Therefore, we will say 2 times 4, which equals 8. Step 2. We need to take our multiplier and times it by the unit. Therefore, we will say 3 times 4, which equals 12. You put down the 2 and carry the 1. Step 3, we need to take our multiplier and times it by our 100. 1 times 4 equals 4, plus the 1, which equals 5. Therefore, Tammy has 528 fireworks all together. Our final word problem. Musa bought three packs of lollipops for his birthday party. Each pack has 214 lollipops. How many lollipops did he buy all together? Our equation will then be 214 times 3. Step 1. We need to take our multiplier, which is 3, and times it by our unit. Therefore, we'll say 4 times 3, which equals 12. You'll write down the 2 and carry the 1. Step 2. We need to times our multiplier 3 by our 10s. So you'll say 1 times 3, which equals 3, plus the 1, which gives us 4. Our last step, we need to times our multiplier 3 by our 100s, which is 2. Therefore, we'll say 2 times 3, which gives us 6. So, how many lollipops did he buy all together? Musa bought 642 lollipops all together. Well, that's it from me, grade 3s. Remember, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I will respond. From me, Ms. Mzizi, goodbye.